Okay, guys, what do you do when you ring the doorbell of an expired listing or you knock at the door and it's unannounced? They don't know you're coming. Hi, my name's Jim McCord, and I've been a realtor since 1993. I've made a living off of ex listing expired listings and for sale by owners. There are no better prospects. You don't need to pay Zillow, any of those lead companies. You need to prospect expired listings and old expires. There's plenty of them. Anyway, if you're going to cold door knock or ring the doorbell, what do you say? Well, let me share with you what I say. I bring their MLS sheet. It's an expired listing. And I print it out. And you'll see that I highlight that it expired and the date that it expired. And I highlight their address. And I have this with me. So I ring the doorbell. They come to the door. And they may, may either say quite often, they'll say, well, who are you? And can I help you? Or what do you want? They say, well, I'm Jim McCord. I'm with EXP. I apologize for coming without an appointment. It's really important that you apologize. I rarely do that. Uh, I only would like a minute or two of your time. I don't even need to get in your house right now. Your listing expired yesterday. Can I take one or two minutes and show you something? Well, when you start the conversation out that way and they know you're not trying to get in the house, more often than not, they, they will listen to you for a minute or two. So then what do I do? Well, I pull out, you know, I have with me a drop packet and I pull out of this drop. I'll share that in a minute what that is. But I pull out their MLS sheet and you'll notice that I have on here the fact that it expired and the date that it expired and their address. I'll pull this out and I'll show them. I'll say, can I ask you, why did your previous listing agent use that photo? And they'll say, well, I don't know, Jim. They usually say something like, I don't know that's photo of our house. And I let them know that's the wrong photo to use. And let me explain why. Then I take a minute to share with them how buyers look for property. And what I say basically is this. All buyers today are getting on their cell phone, their tablet, or their laptop. And they're going to Zillow.com or KW or Remax or Coal Banker. It doesn't matter what site they go to. They put, they put in their parameters. And a screen pops up with a list of all the homes that match those parameters. But all they see is the first photo. First photo is really important in marketing your house. And your agent used the wrong photo. When you list with me, I'm going to get an FAA-approved drone operator out here. And our first photo is going to be an aerial photo that shows, number one, it's going to show more of your house, more of your yard. But more important than that, it's going to be different than all the other photos because 95% of realtors either stand in front of the house, just like your photographer did or your realtor did, and they take a photo from the middle of the house on the street, and that's the first photo. So an aerial photo is different. It's going to stand out and buyer's eyes are going to go to that first. It's true. It works. Here's a couple other examples. Uh, same thing, expired listing. This one was a million five and I, I highlighted that it expired and the address. Those are both highlighted. This is their action. I rang the doorbell. I apologize for coming without an appointment. My name is Jim McCord. I'm a realtor with EXP. I almost never do this. Can I have just one or two minutes of your time? I don't even need to get in your house. I just want to show you something on the porch. Yes. Well, then I pull out their MLS, show them that photo, and I say, can I ask you, why did your agent use that photo? Well, same. and I won't go through that again, but just to give you an example, like that's a good photo, but a third of that photo is the driveway in front of the house. People don't want to see that. That house had a spectacular yard. Same with this one. Look at this. This was a million nine. Look at the photo that the agent used on that. So we highlighted the date it expired, the address, and speak with the seller, show them that photo. Anyway, that's what I do. And the reason that I can do that is I selectively target the expires that I'm going after. I don't go after just every single expired. I'm going after them because their agent used the wrong first photo. Now, how is that different than what I did my first 15 years? My first 15 years, I was taking my own photos back then, which probably almost all realtors were in the 90s and early 2000s. Now, all the good realtors have professional photographers. Now, that's only about 30 or 40 percent. So there's still plenty of real estate agents that are taking their own photos or using a poor photographer. That's your target market. But back in my first 15 years, I wasn't 
we hardly anybody was, and I certainly was taking my own photos also. So I didn't have that niche. There were no drone photos. So when I rang, when I rang the doorbell of an expired listing, I had to just convince them that I, Jim McCord, am a better realtor. I'm a better negotiator. The company I work for is better. And that was a hard thing to do, you know, and that's what most agents today are doing. So that's why I'm telling you, if you have a niche and make your niche going after expired listings where that photo was not an aerial photo and it does not have to be high-end million dollar plus homes, it's even better in that three, four, five hundred thousand dollar range because even less agents are using aerial photos. In that, uh, and, and, and you'll you'll be surprised how many agents not only have a bad photo as the first photo, but a lot of agents are using their cell phone to take MLS photos on the inside of the house. Anyway, that's uh, that's what I say to an expired listing when I knock at the door, and it really works. Now, a lot of them will invite me in after that first couple minutes of me explaining because they're impressed. Uh, my name is Jim McCord again. I wrote this book, A Revolution in Real Estate Sales, about eight years ago. And it did very quickly become a number one bestseller. You can get this on Amazon for less than $10. Very short book because it's a short book because, and it's a bestseller because I don't try and teach real estate agents everything about the real estate business in this book. What I teach them is how to prospect for listings. If you always have five, 10 listings or more, you will always make really good money in real estate and you control your time. That's where it's at. You need to be a listing agent. You don't need to pay for listings. You don't need to pay any lead companies. You need to prospect for sale by owners and expireds. And yes, your market has plenty of expireds. Maybe not today, not this year, but you go back two, three, four, five years in every MLS. How do I know that? I know that because I've been coaching realtors for the last eight years. I've been on over 200 MLSs. And I have not yet found an MLS where there is not a plethora of old expires, and in particular, old expires that had bad photos. All right, Jim McCord, I'm going to put the, my email and my phone number in the description of this video. Feel free to uh, call me, message me, or uh, connect with me somehow. Go to my YouTube page, subscribe, and if you'd like to order my book, get that on Amazon for under 10 bucks. Get out there and uh, go after expired listings, but be selective. And now you know what to say to them. Guys, have a great day.